Hi, my name's Scott. For today's video, we're showing you this TC1. This is a part of the C1 series vacuum cleaner. Now this is a cordless battery chargeable vacuum cleaner. We're gonna go ahead and show you everything that you get within this kit. Okay, let's take a look at everything that it comes with. It comes with its manual. It comes with this adjustable and foldable hose. It comes with this unique head and you can clean up just like this. However, if you press in, it has these rubber little spikes that come out, which make great for deep cleaning or cleaning pet fur. As you guys can see, it is designed for pet fur. It has a little paw print there for cats or dogs. And basically how this works is you would hold it in, brush your pet as the vacuum's on, and then when you release, it pushes the hair out, which makes it easy cleanup instead of having to pick it apart from the brush. So you know your standard brush, you would have to like pull all the hair out manually by force. This allows it to push out so it's easy cleaning. You of course have the extension, I believe it's actually metal, either aluminum, I believe it's aluminum hose. And by pressing in the button right here, you can extend that out so it's pretty far. And then you just press, press the button in there, slide it back down in. You of course have this extension. This is great for if you spill cereal or for getting under tables or dressers and countertops. And then of course you can slide this by pressing this button up, slide this brush up. Now I've found that this works great for dust, dirt, and stuff like that. And great for cleaning off desktop areas, keyboards, and stuff like that. Because the bristles, they're hard, but yet they're soft. Which makes it great for getting the, the dusties. Get those dust bunnies. Now this one, this is excellent. This one is one that we love to use. And we love to use this on our sofas, on our couches, and also on our steps. It can be adjusted. You can also press this button in and take it out for cleaning. So the brush inside. It comes with just one battery. I was hoping it would come with two. However, it just comes with one, but it does seem to be a pretty hefty duty battery. Here's the little charging base with the power supply. Also, you have um, this to hold brushes in from the unit here. So both of these just simply go on the side of the charging hub and then you can mount this on the wall if you would like and just put a screw right through there and through there. Uh, make sure you have both panels on before you put the screw in because it does interlock. Um, but yeah, very nice. And they do provide you with screws. And now of course we have the main component here which is the massive brush. It does have front lights, which is great if you are cleaning in a dark area, closet, and so forth. Now, here's something that I actually really like. A lot of them are really fine as far as in between, but this one has a wide opening. If you can see here, I like that it has such a big opening right in here. And I think how they designed that, and it also has teeth right in here too, to catch it from getting clogged. Can you see these teeth right straight in there? I believe they feel like they're metal and that helps catch hair so it doesn't clog inside because that's a big problem right in there is where a lot of vacuum cleaners get clogged so it's definitely nice you can also pop this open like this and pull this whole piece out which is also very nice and here's another nice feature they added wheels to help it smoothly roll which is great and of course you have wheels right here as well so far, I'm very impressed with this. And now on to the actual vacuum itself. You have your power button here. You have your speed mode, plus and minus, right on the top there. Battery goes in the back. You have your quick disconnect right here. This allows you to pop off the tank. Looks like we have a filter right here. And then there's another basket in here that pulls out and you can clean off everything in here, which then also gives you access to the basket. Um, let's see how easy it is putting it in. So putting it in, you just simply line up that this edge right here. It just slides straight down in. So that's actually pretty easy. So I like that. 
I like how easy they make it so you don't have to like try and fumble and try to get it lined up perfectly. Uh, I do want to point out there's also a quick release right here. So you don't have to take everything out. If you just want to clean the bottom, you pop that open and then you can just clean everything out right there. So this is just for like cleaning the filter and going through that. And you can wash the filter, um, use lukewarm water and then completely let it dry. If it is placed back in wet and you think, well, you're going to let this vacuum dry it out. Sadly, all that does is it just dries it out a little bit, but then over time it starts to smell and it's, it gets gross. So completely air dry it um, and have it completely dry before you put it back in. So once the battery is placed inside, you're actually going to use the bay, the hub bay here, and you have the little hook on there as well. And it's just going to line up like this. So when you're mounting it on the wall, make sure you mount it like this. So it's going to be mounted on the wall like this. And you don't, again, you don't have to have it mounting on the wall. You can keep it on the ground like this as well. And just simply place your unit on like this and it will charge. So you don't have to have it mounted on a wall. I just wanted to make sure everyone knows that. Um, but you will have to obviously plug in the power supply for this. Okay. Once turned on, says the battery level is the fan speed definitely has some nice sucking power so you have low medium and high I'm gonna go ahead and charge it up for a little bit and then we're gonna test it out for everyone while it's charging, it will show you the percentage and also it will be blinking. I do want to point out that it does take quite some time for it to charge. So you definitely want to have it on the charger. Um, as soon as you're done vacuuming your first time go around, I would place it on the charger that way for, you know, in the next day or a couple days or in a week, you know, you're ready to go. It's going to be fully charged. Cause it does have a drip charge, which basically it's a slower charge, which is better on the battery. Uh, it doesn't you know, use as much electricity right away. Um, but it just takes longer. Okay. We have not done our steps in quite some time. Now we're going to test them out. All we did was we put the main extension while well, the main brush right on. And here we go. Obviously the higher setting you use, the faster the battery is going to go down. So I'm going to do this, use two hands, and we just simply go along. As you can see, it's already picking up a lot of stuff. Now it's probably been about three weeks since we did our steps. I wanted to make sure our steps were nice and dirty. Uh, we do have a dog as well, so you're going to probably see mostly fur. But it does, I mean it's doing a fantastic job. Wow, I didn't realize it got this dirty so quickly. I mean, three weeks. I guess three weeks is quite some time, but uh, wow. The battery is going down pretty fast though, and this is on medium. So keep that in mind. You definitely probably want a full charge. We had a 26% charge. I like the light. That's very nice for doing steps in dark areas. I mean, it's definitely picking up very well. And we're not even applying much pressure. You can see everything that's picked up. I recommend stopping around a 3% battery. That way you never fully drain it. It's not good to fully drain. I mean, this is fantastic. And it's so easy to it just glides right across for doing the steps. Like, really nice. And this is just one hand. Look at everything. 
incredible. And just looking down, you can see how it puffed up the steps. It made the carpet like new again. So it definitely did a very good cleaning job. Now, a lot of people make fake videos and they show fake stuff. We're actually showing you the real thing of actually using. Look at this. Look how it caped on the filter. Incredible. With only three weeks. That shows you how our old vacuum, how bad our old vacuum was. Just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Well, you definitely can't fake that. Look at this. Wow, I can't believe how bad our old vacuum was. Our old vacuum must have lost a lot of suction power or something. Or this is just really good. Incredible.